All right, let's talk about some fantasy advice. Start them, sit them for the Detroit Lions going to Philadelphia tomorrow versus the Eagles. We back. Mercy Sports Talk. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. Share the videos. Appreciate the love support. All right. Going to Philly tomorrow. Philly, dilly, 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 Philly. We up in there, man. No rain. So uh, it's going to be 88 degrees, 10% chance of precipitation. And let's look at uh, uh, who I'm feeling confident in, who I'm not. All right. Let's start off uh, with the Eagles. Okay. Um, really, uh, my lock of the day for the Eagles. And I think for the whole game, it's going to be, um, Zach Ertz. Uh, I think Alshon is upgraded to, um, he went from doubtful to probable, I think. So he could play, but with a calf strain, I think he's going to be limited, but he's a good player. But Zach Art Ertz with, Deshaun Jackson now, Alshon Jeffrey, Iffy, um, Nelson Aguilar drop, dropping balls. Zach Ertz should have a really big, big game tomorrow. I think that's the lock of the day. Big, big Zach, big, big Zach Ertz guy tomorrow, starting through all the lineups. Zach Ertz, Zach Ertz, Zach Ertz. Okay, love him tomorrow, right? I think, man, that's my tight end lock uh, tomorrow. I love him. He, he, should, get, he should get over 10 targets. All right. Now, Lions can do some things to take it away. And Jared Davis possibly can come back. But I just love it. Love Zach Ertz tomorrow. Um, other than that, uh, for the Eagles, um, running back is real, real iffy for the Eagles. You don't know. That's one of the ones that is like I would kind of, I don't know, I would stay away from. But I, I looked for, you know, Sproles to get some targets. But they running back is a carousel. You don't never know who's going to get. So if I was staying away from the running game, unless I knew – a running back was going to step up and get more carries because of injuries, I will kind of stay away from Philly running game. But I, I like I, I like uh, Miles Sanders, and I think eventually he, he will emerge as the back as they see some progress on, win, lose, or draw, or whatever they're going through. But um, other, other than that, uh, Algalar is, is, is kind of a guy that, you know, if you're playing daily fantasy or you or if you're playing standard, you strap, you strap for, excuse me, strap for a receiver or – Aguilar tomorrow. At the end of the day, Alshon not being 100%. Aguilar going to be in the slot. He going to try to stretch the defense. The Lions like to play some zone, and sometimes they bust in zone. And, you know, sometimes zone bust. So you may look for him to have a lot of targets tomorrow too. And I think he try to redeem himself hands-wise. Now, quarterback-wise for the Eagles, um, Carson Wentz, he always a go. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the most confident in him, but it, he as soon as he get hit, and the Lions D-line they been getting a lot of pressure, but – Maybe this is the week they wake up. I don't think hand come back, but this may be the week they wake up. And Philadelphia offensive line that looked good yesterday, but they do have Vic Beasley and uh, uh, McKinley down there, and Grady Jared is a beast. But if you tell me Damon Harrison wake up this week, Trey Flowers wake up this week to assist Devon Kennard on the edge, then I say maybe not so much. But um, Carson Wentz, just talent-wise, you just always got to trust his talent, especially if he your number one quarterback. Now, if you have some options out there, um, you know what I'm saying? Then maybe not so much if you in a DFS world, but um but defense is tomorrow. If it rained, I would tell you to take uh Eagles defense tomorrow, but I'm not sure I would trust their defense tomorrow. But uh really I'm staying away from their running backs because I don't know who in the rotation gonna really get the majority of the carries and the touches and the touchdowns. I look the lock for the Eagles is gonna be Zach Ertz. Um my my you know, my uh sleeper is probably gonna be Nelson Aguilar and uh, my safe, you know, I, I'm cool with uh, Zach Carson Wentz as well being there. Now for the Lions, uh, my lock is going to be uh, the receivers. All right, my lock is going to be uh, Danny Amendola. is is probably my my ultimate lock. I love a a Amendola tomorrow. Uh, I love him. Uh, I love uh, Kenny Galladay tomorrow. Love him. Love Marvin Jones tomorrow. Love him. I, I love them to, to to spread it out, um, and I just I, if I had to take a pick, Amendola is gonna be gonna be the one to look at. I believe Amendola is gonna be the one. I think he didn't get no no he might have got one catch and no catches last week, but I think Amendola really gonna eat tomorrow. I think he really gonna eat. Um, Kenny Galladay, I think he gonna have a good game, but Amendola is the guy that I'm locking in on. 
Real talk. Uh, uh, my my uh, sleeper tomorrow is is probably going to be. Um, it's probably going to be TJ Hawkinson. I'm going to pick TJ Hawkinson to be my sleeper. I'm going to say he bounced back after after a bad game. Uh, I'm going to say he's going to bounce back. You know, I know a lot of people are going to stay away from me. at one catch for seven yards last week. That's who that's who going to be my sleeper. Um, who am I staying away from? Uh, I'll probably stay away from the running backs in this game. They haven't showed consistently to, 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 to get anything going in the run game. The Eagles got a good front. Um, Nigel Branham, they got uh, – uh, Malik Jackson out, but they still got, you know, Brandon Graham, Barnett, Fletcher Cox is really, really good. So I'm kind of staying away from the Lions running game today. Today proved that they could run the ball with more consistency. And also I'm staying away from the running game. And today, you know, to Daryl Bevel consistently feed Kerryon Johnson and Tyler Johnson out the backfield with, with, with passes. So and today crank that up. I stay away from Matthew Stafford. I like him tomorrow as much as I like Carson Wentz. Um, if he like – if I got a question about who's starting, you know, or, or who to start, Stafford gonna have a ton of opportunities. Like I said, if you like his, you like his receivers, all of them, the tight ends, the the the, the Amendola, the Joneses, the Galladay. I like Matthew Stafford tomorrow versus the Eagles' weak secondary, but he got to get that support up front uh, from his front five. They blocked well last week. They handled Joey Bosa. They held, handled Melvin Ingram. I wouldn't say uh, from a, uh, from the outside pass rushing that Ingram and Barnett was uh Bosa and uh excuse me Graham and Bar uh Bar Graham and Barnett was Bosa and Ingram. But hey you gotta look out for him because interior wise they got Fletcher Cox. <laughs> so he's one of the best in the business. So you know I stay away from the Lions running game. I like the receivers. I like the quarterback. Defense it is same as I feel about Philly. It's a flip of a coin. If you're in the DFS world and you need a cheap defense um, Lions been creating some turnovers. Uh, the Eagles got a good front seven. They need to wake up, but it's, it's a pick of the litter. If I had other options, I would go to other options. To, I'll go other options, but but I'm not messing with the running games in this in, the, in these in these matchups. Uh, two good run defenses, but also on the Eagles side, it's just a carousel. But offensively, I like the receivers tomorrow, tight ends tomorrow. It should be a good game, man. And uh, we we'll see if the, the Alliance defense can stand up uh, to the Philadelphia Eagles. But like I said, man, sleeper picks, uh, you know, Hawkinson for the Lions all day. Hawkinson, 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 man. And my lock of this whole this whole game is going to be Zach Ertz. He is the ultimate lock for this game. He's the ultimate lock. If you got him in your lineup, barring injury, you got to lock him in. You know, I see, I see like 15 targets for him tomorrow. You know, Lions have been uh, covering a tight end better this season, but they really ain't seen uh, a well, they really ain't seen a tight end that got a lot of work. Arizona only put Charles Clay in, not you know, they only threw to him once, and then the uh, Chargers didn't even throw the green none. Hunter Henry got injured, so this will be a Lions' first tight end test this uh, uh, this season. But we'll see, man. But Eagles do got some banged up players. You know, Carson Wentz, you know, he got that little rib injury he'd been having. He refused to hit the weight room. So, like I said, the defenses are flip of the coins. Uh, the tight ends, I love them in this game to give a wrap up. The running backs, um, just on the Eagles standpoint, I don't know who's going to get the ball. But the Lions, I just don't I don't believe in their running game yet so far. But their receivers, tight ends, quarterbacks, I think this should be a good well scoring game tomorrow. No rain. Um Tomorrow, you know, a lot of people are going to be stacking that Kansas City and Ravens game, but they got rain tomorrow in Kansas City. So it's going to be a ton of rain. Uh, Kansas City without their running back, uh, Williams. So LaShawn McCoy, if you got him, you might want to plug him in. Mark Ingram tomorrow, you want to plug him in. It's going to be rainy there. So it might affect the Chiefs' deep passing game. Uh, so that's something to look at as well, too. So you might want to plug some Lions and Eagle players in. I think they'll be low owned in the DFS world on DraftKings and FanDuel. So just a little little nugget there. And I think Hawkinson Price should drop on FanDuel and DraftKings after his performance last week, which I think they correct that in the, in the tight ends room and offensive coordinator as well too. But, hey, Motor City Sports Talk, appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, a crowd response, ship a video request, want to make a donation, that link's in the description. Can't wait to get to the Philly uh, game tomorrow, man. Got a lot of content built up for the, tomorrow. Appreciate it. One time for the one time. It's your boy, CJ Goodfellow. We gone.